everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be mine and stanley's one month update <laughs> So this little one, as of yesterday, which was the 12th of April 2018, is now one month old and I'm a little bit broken hearted about that but with that comes a lot of exciting things as well because he has changed so much and I've just got so much that I feel like I want to tell you about so I'm going to try and get into it now. So the biggest thing is that Stanley is just so much more alert and we have had his first smiles and it was just amazing. He smiled for the first time when he was four weeks and one day old which was this week on Tuesday and it was just the best best feeling in the world because when they're first born they are vulnerable and they are tiny and they are squishy and they are sleepy and they just need cuddles and they don't really do much more than that like obviously they are cute and they are lovely and absolutely wonderful but you don't really know them aside from like learning what their cry is and whether that cry means this or this cry means that there's not much personality to them is there um but when he started like he turned four weeks on monday and just since then every single day he gives more and more of himself away and I'm falling in love with him so so fast like I already love him obviously of course I do but I just feel like I'm falling super hard like every day I get to know him a bit more and I'm like I didn't even think it was possible to love you any more than I do but apparently it is and he's just such a he's smiling in his sleep he's just such a happy happy little boy he really really is he is so so easy in terms of the way that he fits in with the family and I really do think that you know going from no children to having one is a huge change because you go from being like your number one to like a completely completely different lifestyle and then going from one to two is just a shock because prior to that especially if you're you know in a relationship there's two of you and one child so you can tag team the child but then when there's two of them <laughs> it's like an even battle and you know especially if you're on the, on your own with them sometimes it's really really hard work whereas like I was really nervous with that in mind that going from two to three was going to be this massive massive scary overwhelming jump where they you know outnumber us and it was going to be a case of there's not enough hands and all of that but I have honestly felt like he is just such a patient little thing and he's very very sweet and he's very very just gentle and calm and he's just so easy like he's quite happy to wait and it shouldn't actually be that way but his big sister is two a week tomorrow and you know she's at that stage where she really really needs us and obviously we've had all of the children at home because it's been easter and it's been quite like hectic but he's just slotted in like he's been to the sea life center he's been to the lego discovery center he's been out for lunch lots of times we've like visited people we've had friends over he's met like his first dog and he's just been so you know easy going and obviously he's only four weeks old so it's not like he can like kick up a fuss too much aside from crying for a bottle but he's just he's a dream he really really is and if anybody is on the fence about having a third child and like whether or not it's for them or whether or not they think that they will manage obviously it's tougher but I cannot tell you how full my heart is at the moment like I was up for ages last night with Daisy <laughs> out of all three of them because she woke up having a nightmare and she didn't go back to bed until one o'clock and then I had to do the night feed as well at half past two with him and I 
I was absolutely exhausted but you know what I'm here this morning and I'm just all I feel is like love like obviously I'm tired and obviously I would rather go to bed and like eat loads of chocolate rather than sit and film videos and edit them but it's important to me to make these videos and it's also oh hello smiley boy it's also important to me to like fill you all in as well because you've been so supportive but it's just it's amazing and I'm really really happy I'm really 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 enjoying being a mum of three other updates Stanley wise is that I think that we are slowly coming to an end of the up to one month um sleep suits he's like he's a big lad he is but he's still fitting in them quite nicely but we are getting like his toes curling up a little bit and they just seem a bit harder to get on over the shoulders and I just feel like they are probably coming to an end scene and I'm not sure how I feel like that because he went straight into up to one month anyway because he was nine pound six when he was born so I feel like I've been clinging on to these outfits he is moving into size two nappies because the size ones on occasion can leak a little bit I did mention in the past video that the ones that we got on with the most were Asda's Little Angels but um, obviously we've been using Pampers as well and the Aldi Mammy at once and like interchanging between the, the three really because I've bought a few of each while I was pregnant but we have moved him up into size two just to try them out and they've been so much better and we've not had any problems so I think that they are the best size for him right now. So the one question that a lot of people ask is how is he sleeping and I feel like it's even people in the street when I meet them and they ask how he is and like is he a good baby does he sleep and the answer to that question is like I don't think that sleep makes a good baby obviously but he is a really really good sleeper and I'm wary at talking about that as I've said before but we are feeding him now just before we go to bed around half past 10 11 and then he has a feed at about half past two um which is really a dream feed we change his nappy then and we give him a bottle and a lot of the time he's now started taking the full four ounces which is really really good um because obviously if you've watched my last updates he has had a cold which hasn't been very nice for him but that's starting to clear now so he's able to feed a lot more efficiently and he's a lot happier and just taking bigger bottles with like longer stretches so yeah we we feed at like half 10 11 then we feed him around half past two and then we wait for him to wake in the morning to feed which can be sometime between like sort of seven and eight and we started doing that because we were waking him quite often to try and feed him because we were worried about him having a cold but every single time we do that there'd be hardly anything taken like he'd take an ounce sometimes too and then because we were doing that and kept disturbing him he just got into that pattern of having loads of like smaller bottles and then he wasn't really awake for many of them because we were just sort of like forcing him to to eat and he was quite happy to do that while asleep whereas we kind of let him wake and tell us his hunger cues because that's been you know it's better for him and it's better for us because we know that he's hungry and we know that he's ready for a nice big bottle and you know he recognizes the signs of hunger as well so that's what we've been doing and he's just a dream like he's clearly not a small baby and he's clearly gaining weight and it's just going really well for us at the moment i do think that we've gotten really really lucky with him i think he's just one of those babies that likes to sort of fit into his own routine and he enjoys his sleep and he he just sort of sticks to the same thing every day i am pretty certain that as he grows and we get things like you know leaps and growth spits and you know teething things will change but for now i'm just taking what i can get when it comes to sleep and um, i will be doing a newborn baby routine video on monday and i'm also going to be filming a newborn baby favorites video on monday so they will be up at some point next week um so hopefully if you like if you want to pick up how we do things and things like that then make sure you subscribe for those if you're not already now i've spoken about him i am going to get on to how i'm doing it for a week postpartum or one month postpartum and I have to say that this last week I have felt so much more like myself and I felt really really positive and really good about that and um, the best thing is that my bleeding has stopped and I am so so 
happy about that because it was just getting me down and it was still a bit uncomfortable and you don't really feel clean do you when you're constantly bleeding all the time so that has been a breath of fresh air and I'm also pleased to say that my boobs have stopped leaking as well as far as I know. I actually gave away my pump and all of my like feeding bits to a friend that I saw at the weekend um, because she is due in June and I just thought no I need to like get rid of all of this stuff pass it on to someone who really needs it and like say goodbye to the breastfeeding journey and it felt really really good to pass it on to someone and know that I was going to help them and um, it made me feel like a lot better about the situation and um, formula feeding is going really well and he's clearly thriving and it's working well for us and it means that we can all have a go and I get a bit of a break which is really really nice especially when we've got three kids I do get backache from time to time still I'm getting backaches out here right now and hold Holding him because he's a big old lump, aren't you? Yeah, big lump. He's already making my arms hurt all the time. Um, but yeah, I feel like my body's like for the most part okay. Um, but I do sometimes still feel a little bit sore and a little bit like I'm not quite there yet. And I obviously won't be for a very long time yet because your body takes ages to go back to normal because it's nine months in and then they say it's nine months out so i'm trying to go easy on myself but i have been a lot more active and i've driven finally i've not driven at all mark's been doing all the driving but i did that this week i actually went to soft play with all three kids on my own and i met a friend and her two children there and we did such a good job like we managed it between the two of us with five children aged between nearly six to four weeks and i was really proud of us and i was proud of myself then because i feel like because we've had mark off i worry sometimes that i've not got a really accurate representation of what it's like having three children so i've really been trying to push boundaries and you know make sure that i juggle work and make sure that i get out and about with him on my own just so i can sort of see what that's like and i am confident that i'm gonna be absolutely fine there will be bad days and there will be ups and downs but there always is despite how many children you have really but yeah i'm doing really really well and i think the next thing for me is to sign up at slimming world I had a letter through from the lady that took over my old group and she said like you know obviously you've not been back for a while and um, obviously if you need a target still then it'll be free and I'm thinking she's got no clue that I've been pregnant this whole time and had a baby um, but I've got like a £5 off voucher to start up again and I think I might go on Tuesday and just have a chat to her because I'll be five weeks postpartum then and then just see if it's okay for me to start um, I'm not going to Oh, that's an interesting face. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself, obviously, because it's still early days. But we booked a family holiday in early June. I think it's about 51 days until we go, something like that. And I really do want to feel more confident about myself. And I'm going to be really honest with all of you and say that I have been eating a bit of rubbish now and again. And I have been having, like, glasses of wine and a gin or two and enjoying that again. And I think that I need to sort of, like, be a bit healthier because I can tell that I'm not eating great and I don't want to slip down that slope because I've been there before and it doesn't make me happy. So this one doesn't want me to put him down so I'm going to quickly show you my tummy and then I will let you go. So I quickly popped him down but this is my tummy now. I feel like it's gone in a lot here. Now I still have all this loose skin here but things are definitely moving in the right direction and I just need to lose a bit of fat now. But yes, I think that is the end of this video because this one's starting to get all snuffly and grunty which is a sign that he's getting hungry. I'm going to take him down down and give him a bottle and then I will catch up with you soon no doubt if you have any requests leave them down in the comments below and I will get on them and I will try and get everything done for you and yeah don't forget to subscribe if you are new and good luck to all of you who are expecting your babies because I know a lot of you are still pregnant and really excited for this to be you so good luck and I will see you next time thanks for watching bye